So in a market that's tougher than ever to survive and thrive, it's so important now to not just rely on luck, guys. You're gonna really need three major skills to survive in this market and make it out of 2024. So stick around, guys, because I'm gonna talk about three things that I'm seeing because I interact with a lot of real estate agents, and I'm gonna tell you three things that I see that agents need most importantly in this market to survive. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Will Higgins. I am a Southern California real estate agent and also team leader, guys, and I run a large RevShare team, so I work with agents all over the country, and if you're interested in finding more about what we do and how we do it, go ahead and click that link below, or even take a screenshot, guys. Talk to Will.com, and I would love to connect with you one-on-one, -on -one, guys. So again, this market is tough. It's really tough. And I don't want you to feel bad if you're not doing the same numbers that you were doing a year ago or two years ago. Well, probably two years ago because last year was a rough year as well. Things are picking up slightly right now, but with these fluctuations in interest rates, I'm seeing it across the board that agents that were doing tons of deals are actually very slow right now. So guys, don't get down on yourself, and I know that's tough, but what happens is a lot of agents, their identity is wrapped up into selling homes. And if that's you, that's a recipe for disaster because that's what causes depression and anxiety and all these other things. I know because I was there, right? So you, you're much more than a realtor. You know, you could be a husband, you could be a leader at your church, a leader in your community. And there's so many other things that your identity is wrapped up in. Don't make it just being a realtor in the number of houses you sell. Let's talk about it, guys. The three things that I think you really need to focus on in today's market to make it to tomorrow's market, the first thing is going to be, guys, your mindset. Embrace change, right? Change is the only thing that's constant. We have had the, I don't even say a privilege, right? But we've been in the market that has not, a market in the industry that has not changed, okay? Real estate is extremely cyclical, but guess what? Everything is moving really fast and we are susceptible to that change now. So the market's changing, guys. You can either change with it or get left behind, but the beauty of it is it's changing for everybody. So it's not just you, right? It's not just the agents in your, your brokerage, your market. It's the whole country, guys. So embrace it because this is opportunity if you approach it right, okay? So embrace change, guys, because it's definitely inevitable. Stay positive. You literally, again, this is part of mindset. You gotta stay positive. You can only control the things that you can control. And if you're negative, you know, if you think you're wrong, if you think things won't work out, guess what? You're right, they won't work out. So the only thing you can control is you. So control the things you can control, stay positive. Again, real estate is cyclical and you'll make it through it, guys, especially if you have a great team. Be proactive, okay? Stop like waiting for things to come to you. My number one piece of advice right now to agents that are struggling is go and do an open house. Oh, well, I, I'm, I'm, I just made this video and I did this. No, go do an open house. Go be proactive, right? Because when we make these videos, you know, I'm waiting on you to reach out to me. I need you to go out and be proactive, like make the video, but also go and do the open house, like we're in an and, and type of market, right? It's not either or, it's you gotta do everything. So we're in an and, and type of market, guys, and I want you guys to succeed. So if I were you, I would go out and I would go to where the people are and they're at an open house. Oh, but Will, somebody else is doing the open house from 11 to two. Perfect, you know what? I'll do the open house from two to four. Ever think about that? So mindset, guys, mindset is, is, is huge. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and being locked in 
to the content. I hope you're getting some value, but guess what? I want to give you more value, guys. I've created an ebook that's going to help you fast track your lead generation, guys. So download my ebook now. It's going to be 30 lead generation ideas to get you guys going right now. So go ahead and download that. Let's make some money. I want to hear in the comments about all your success, guys, but go ahead and keep crushing and appreciate your support. Back to the show. The next one is marketing. Marketing. Like you need, like you don't have a sales problem. You got a people problem. So you just need more people and how you get more people is marketing. Okay. So social media, right? So making the YouTube videos, making the Instagram videos, putting yourself out there because you don't want to be a secret agent. Okay. And then once you make those videos, guess what? Engage with the people, engage with the people. I've been doing, you know, Instagram for a while and YouTube, you know, just recently, but on Instagram, I've been doing it for a while and I've sold a bunch of homes from Instagram, but guess what? A lot of times those people didn't come to me saying, okay, I want to buy, right? They came asking a question and I engaged with them and knew what questions to ask to get them to the destination guys. So if you're, if you're banking on social media, guess what? You gotta be social. Okay. That's the main idea behind it. All right. And the last tip I want to leave you with today, guys, is it's going to be surrounded around patience guys. So number one is you're going to want to trust the process. Okay. You got to fall in love with the process, not the result. Okay. A lot of us have made these claims or these, you know, you make the vision board and you say, I want to sell 30 houses. Well, that's great. Like I support that. Let's do 30 houses or 20 houses, whatever that is. Right. But you can't fall in love with the number. Now you, you gotta, you gotta trust the process. So what's your process to sell 20 homes, right? So how many cold calls, how many open houses, how many times you're going to reach out to your database, how many doors you're going to knock, right? Focus on that. If you do that, I promise you the results will follow, but you just talking about every day that you want to sell 30 houses and not having a plan, trust me, it's not going to get you there. You got to stay consistent. So real estate, the people that make the most money are the most boring people. They literally go and, you know, cold call for two or three hours. They door knock, they do open houses. It's not all this sexy stuff, right? It's again, it's not selling sunset. It's not having fancy lunches, getting dressed up. None of that stuff is working right now or, or ha has ever worked, but it, it, you, you got to stay consistent guys. So find something that if, even if it's one thing, find one thing you can stay consistent at. And also here's, here's my, here's a big tip guys. Start with the end in mind. So figure out what that result is going to be and back into it. For example, if I host an open house, right? My goal is that somebody's going to buy a house. So guess what? I'm going to go. I used to bring two blank RPAs to an open house because guess what? My goal was for somebody to write an offer that day. Okay. And, and then I already had it set up like a follow-up campaign because sometimes it might take five, six, seven, eight months for them to buy after I've met them at an open house. So I want to have all that stuff laid out. So I'm not fumbling the ball, trying to figure things out. And then the last thing I'll leave you with guys is celebrate the small wins. And what I mean by that is if you're going to be hard on yourself when things aren't working out, well, when things do work out, guess what? You got to celebrate that. And it's the small wins that are going to get you to the big victories, guys. So I hope this video was helpful. If you found any value, go ahead, like, subscribe. And guess what? We're family now, guys. So stay locked in. Check out this next video. And I can't wait to hear from you.